What is up all you amazing people, my name is Nick, and did you ever know that the Rack 9 had a variant that turned it basically into the KSG? Yes, this epic variant is called the Smooth Boar. Now, I am going to do a class setup on the Smooth Boar on this video to show you guys the best attachments and best perks to use on the Smooth Boar to make this gun unstoppable. Now just know, again, the smooth bore is a slug gun, meaning it has no spray, so it's going, like, the people you're aiming at have to be dead on on the site, or else you're gonna miss. But other than that, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Before I actually start off this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that the smooth bore is not really the best epic variant in this game. It's an alright epic variant for a shotgun, but I just got this randomly off of a rare supply drop and I wanted to try it out because I didn't know what this was and it, when I figured out it was a slug round, it kind of just let me down. It's basically the KSG in this game. And if you don't remember the KSG from Black Ops 2, uh, well, it's the KSG from Black Ops 2. The KSG from Black Ops 2 was a slug round, and it, the, everybody had to be instantly on the site, like directly on the site, in order for you to hit them, or else you would miss. That's basically the situation with the smooth bore. So if you're not good at direct aim, just instantly, then this isn't a gun for you but let's get right into the class setup with the first thing obviously the smooth bore now to unlock the smooth bore like i said you need to get it in a rare supply drop but with infinity ward adding more and more variants to the game and more and more accessories to the game with also more and more calling cards and emblems and all that it's just going to make it harder and harder to get these epic variants so with that i wish all you guys good luck but for the first attachment, we're going to need Long Barrel or Rifle Barrel. Now, Rifle Barrel will basically make this gun into a ridiculously ranged shotgun. Like, seriously, you can get long shots with this thing. That's how ridiculous this is. This is probably the only shotgun, or actually, no, this is the only shotgun in the game that can get long shots. I don't know any other shotgun in Infinite Warfare that can get long shots or any shotgun variant that can get long shots other than this shotgun and with rifle barrel it just makes it more unstoppable and it's basically really hard to get a hit marker no matter what unless like you somehow matter to get a hit marker with rifle barrel which is pretty weird but it's basically a no hit marker mission. next attachment you're going to need is laser sights now the reason why i picked laser sight is i know this is a slug round but for some reason when you don't shoot down the barrel and you shoot without aiming the slug round will go like somewhere it's it's weird it doesn't go straight it goes somewhere like 50 percent of the times it'll go somewhere and then another 50 will go straight so laser sight will increase this 50 of it going straight to 70 so 30 percent of the time it'll go somewhere and then 70 percent of the time it'll go straight so this would help in some situations with that the next attachment you will need is quick draw now I always put quick draw in infinite warfare because the ADS time in infinite warfare is stupid it is <laughs> just so stupid and it's so slow and you need quick draw for every class so if you want to know in future class setups I am always going to put quick draw just know that I don't think there's gonna be one gun that I won't put quick draw on but if that day comes then something's up then our last but not least attachment you have for grip now, foregrip would help with reducing recoil with this gun since it is a slug and it's going to shoot up. And when you do get shot, having grip will reduce you shooting and also, or reduce recoil of you shooting and also reduce the recoil of you getting shot at, which will really help because this is a slug and you need, you desperately need people to be in the site in order for you to kill them. Now we are off to the perks. Now for our first perk we have dexterity because this is a shotgun so you are obviously going to want to reload super fast because this shotgun does take some time to reload and with the side of a slug round you won't have or you won't have a really high chance of killing somebody when you only have one shot when you have one shot with a spread comparing to one shot with a slug because one shot with a slug you miss you're basically done for so dexterity will basically help you in those needs 
of you needing to reload super fast until the enemy comes and then you can just drench the enemy in the insane slug rounds or the insane range slug rounds of the smooth bore the second attachment is scavenger because this variant for some reason has ridiculously low ammo i don't know why it has ridiculously low ammo and i think it's i just i just think it's because it has a ridiculously long range i can't say that word but it just has an insane range so i think that's why the range just makes the ammo low so putting scavenger will help with making that ammo not run out for you and our last but not least perk is gung ho now the reason why i pick gung ho is so you can run and you can shoot with this thing because that will really help with running and gunning with the shotgun since it has an insane range and an insane fire or an insane firepower for a shotgun it's just ridiculous but if you want you can take out gun ho and put a red dot sight if you can't shoot people with the iron sight but that's pretty much it for this class setup guys it's a quick and simple class setup for the smooth bore and comment down below if you do try this comment down below if this helped you or not because i would really like to know i couldn't really use this gun because it's a slug and i'm not really good with slugs but for anybody out there that's good with slugs, tell me how this class setup works for you. Or if you haven't tried slugs and you try using this epic variant with this class setup, tell me how it is. But in that, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like because it helps me out a ton. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for more amazing Call of Duty content. And I'll see you in my next video. So stay amazing and peace, guys.